In this video I'd like to talk to you about drill chucks and how to identify them. We'll start with a big one. You can see down on the lower part of the body right here there's numbers on here which is the size of the chuck and the type of mount it uses. This one, this particular chuck, it says a 32nd by one half inch. Meaning the 32nd is the small, the smallest diameter this chuck will chuck. Your little chuck jaws will come out there and when they touch each other there will be a hole probably just a little smaller than a 32nd right there. Okay, the half inch. The high inch is telling us that that's the maximum capacity this chuck will open. You can get a high inch drill in there and I'm pretty sure you can probably get a 13 millimeter. And the uh, JT6, where it says JT6 right here, that's telling us the type of mount. The JT stands for Jacob's Taper. That's Jacob's Taper number six. And what we're talking about here is the back of the chuck it's got a tapered hole in it. This is a precision ground, real nice tapered hole. And your shank or your arbor presses into this. Here's a, I've got an R8 shank. This is a typical Bridgeport type shank. But this taper right here is the Jacobs taper. That's a number six taper. We got a number six in the chuck. When you put these together, you can tap it the way I do it. I'll use a piece like a piece of wood and I'll let the weight of the truck do the work. I'll just tap that on a piece of wood and that drives the chuck down onto the taper and locks it. Okay, and speaking of mounts, let's go to this little, little fellow here. This one is a little different. It's a zero to three eighths, meaning the zero meaning these will these little jaws will close. They'll completely close to nothing. And the capacity is three eighths. The three eighths is telling us that's the largest drill bit you're going to get in this little dude is a three eighths. But now we get down here to the the mounting information. Our mount is a half twenty. That's what makes this chuck different from the one I just showed you. You look at the back of it. It's got a half 20 thread in here, which means your arbor screws in. Now these chucks, normally you find them on hand drills, small light duty drill presses. I wouldn't recommend this chuck for any type of heavy duty power tapping, for example, or any type of application where you'll be running a reverse. For the simple reason that when, when you throw that thing in reverse, there's a good possibility the chuck will screw off a shank or arbor. So I recommend these for light duty work only. Now your Jacobs taper, your Jacobs taper is made to handle it. It'll handle forward, reverse, fast, slow, whatever you want to throw at it, the Jacobs taper will take it. So now, I hope you've learned a little something about identifying chucks. Feel free to look around our website. You might find some more useful information and come back because we update often. Thank you.